Alrighty, number seven. Um, so this one, we again need to figure out what we're doing. So we're trying to find this angle. Um, and so that means I need the side that's opposite it, which is this one. Um, and then I don't have this angle, so I can't use that. And I don't have this side, so that's not helpful either. Um, but I do have this side, which is good because that's the angle I have. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. So I'm going to call this angle A. And that would make this side A. And then I'm going to call this side B. B, so then this over here would be angle B. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this in. All right, so I'm going to use angle A and side A, and I'm going to use angle B and side B. And so angle A is theta. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Side A is 5. And then sine of angle B. B, well, angle B I decided was 59, and side B is 8. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply. So I'm going to do this stuff multiplied together is equal to this stuff multiplied together. All righty, now I need to get that theta by itself, um, but I have 8 times theta. So what I'm, or 8 times sine of theta, sorry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 8. I need to get rid of that 8. Whatever I do on one side, I do to the other. And so I'm going to end up with sine of theta is equal to 5 times sine of 59 divided by 8. Now that's a gross number, so I'm going to throw it in my calculator. I'm going to try to figure out what that is just to make this a little easier. And I like to write at least four numbers down when I'm going to do something still with it. Um, but just to make sure that it isn't getting rounded too much. All right. And then, oh, man, I've got this sine of an angle thing. I need to get rid of the sine because that angle is not the same as sine of that angle. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I need to do the opposite of sine. Well, the opposite of sine is inverse sine. So I do inverse sine of both sides. And that means that this inverse sine will cancel out the sine part, but leave the theta behind. And so I will have left theta is equal to the inverse sine of 0.5357. And when I put that into my calculator, uh, I get 32.4. And that's my answer.